One week ago, we talked about the Jack Eichel trade rumors involving the Boston Bruins. Now, these trade rumors, if you watched the video, were just rumors of one guy's idea. One guy on NBC Sports who said, hey, this could be cool. This is what I'm proposing, and this is what I think. That's what we're talking about, not the whole other idea that people were talking about saying, oh, the Boston Bruins are going to do it, they're going to trade for Eichel. No, that's not what we were talking about. And today, we're talking about a similar situation as we had last week, but instead of talking about the Boston Bruins, we're talking about the San Jose Sharks. Because now, in this video, we're still on NBC Sports. But instead of the Boston Bruins side of things, we're taking a look at an article written by Brian Witt a few days ago that has been picking up some steam lately, in the same way that the Boston Bruins article from a week ago also picked up on some steam. Now on that same Bruins video a week ago, I got a ton of comments from people saying, you know what, Lego, this was a cool video, go over other Eichel trade ideas, let's see what other teams could potentially offer. So now that we have another article coming out on the San Jose Sharks point of view, I thought it would have been interesting to take a look at this article and see what the writer, who is Brian Witt, has to say about this. So, the article is titled, Why the Sharks Should Not Be Ruled Out If the Sabres Jack Eichel Demands a Trade. The article talks about the same things that we've been talking about Eichel over the past few weeks. The fact is, he's a phenomenal hockey player, and it's easy to understand why he might be frustrated in the current situation. He's real good, and he almost willed the Buffalo Sabres into the play-in series, an extraordinarily good point producer, a hard-working guy every single shift, he's got a determination that runs through the roof, and it overtakes every other player on his team, and he's the captain for a reason. So when he mentioned his comments to the media a few weeks ago, talking about how he's fed up with losing, and how he's frustrated, and it's definitely not an easy pill to swallow, how it's been a tough couple of months, and it's been a tough five years with where things have went, people weren't surprised. Eichel is a competitor. He wants to win every time he goes out there on the ice, and he wants to win the Stanley Cup every time he starts a season. He'd be lying if he said that he wasn't getting frustrated with where things were going. Because of all this stuff, the idea of a Jack Eichel trade request has brought itself into the spotlight. I'll admit, I'm kind of part of that. I made a video after these comments were leaked saying that I wouldn't be surprised if Eichel requested a trade. But that's just how I feel, man. Look at these quotes. This guy is angry, he's frustrated, and because it's been so long that he hasn't seen anywhere near the amount of success that he would have liked, it is not unbelievable to me to bring up the idea that, hey, maybe sometime in a few years, he does indeed request a trade. So, that's why this article is written up over here. If Eichel ever demanded a trade, every team in the league would be on the phone with the Sabres to see if a deal could be made, according to the article writer here, Brian Witt. He also talks about things on the San Jose point of view. Is there any possibility that Eichel could be wearing teal in the relatively near future? It's extremely faint, but as long as Doug Wilson is San Jose's GM, it would be unwise to count the Sharks out of any superstar pursuit. Eric Carlson, Joe Thornton, Burns, Kane, Boyle, Heatley, Bill Guerin. Wilson has a lengthy history of acquiring big names. Eichel would certainly qualify, though the cost may be prohibitive. Now, it's at this point in the article where things get really, really cool. I love talking about trade proposals and different trade requests and ideas, and this trade proposal, ooh, it's a juicy one right here. Factoring in both what Buffalo would likely want as well as salaries, a Sharks potential trade package for Eichel might look something like Brent Burns, Ryan Merkley, Jonathan Dolan, and a future first-round pick. And even that might not be enough. Burns' talent surely would be attractive to the Sabres, but he's also 35 years old, not to mention he has a modified no-trade clause in his contract. Now, right off the bat, Burns, Dolan, Merkley, and a first for Eichel. In my opinion, first immediate reaction, no, not enough. That's just how I see it in my mind. Eichel is a franchise talent. Merkley is good, but there's uncertainty with Merkley. Dolan was really good in Sweden, but like the guy's been going back and forth, and he's already confirmed to staying in Timra for next season. There's no real guarantee for Dolan. 
As for Brent Burns, he's good, but he's old. The contract is huge. First round pick is a first round pick. In my opinion, that's not good enough. If Burns wasn't included, he likely would have to be replaced in the deal by another player making a considerable salary. The best fit currently on the Sharks roster might be Timo Meyer. Is Eichel worth Meyer, Merkley, Dahlin, and a first round pick, assuming that's enough to get a deal done? Now, in my opinion, you're swaying the scales a little bit more on the positive side of things when you replace Brent Burns with Timo Meyer. In my opinion, Meyer has more value than Burns. He's cheaper, he's younger, he is arguably at the same level of an impact team-wise than a Burns is, especially with the down years that Burns has had as of late. Meyer is a guy who I'm so, so in love with as a hockey player, such a good good, strong scorer. Obviously, if you're the Buffalo Sabres trading away an Eichel, you're not getting an Eichel-like player back in a deal like this. But Meyer, in this circumstance, could be the best player you can receive back. And combined with the other assets, the first round pick, Ryan Merkley and Jonathan Dolan, this could be something that if you were really looking towards the future, you could say, yeah, let's do it. It's just, what do you do with that hole? Timo Meyer's a winger. What do you do with that hole on your team that's left up on that center position? You don't bring in Dylan Cousins right away to replace Eichel. You don't call up a Casey Middlestad and you say, yep, now you're our first line center. You gotta go out there and either draft a first line center with your eighth overall pick or you take one up in free agency. But if you go with that eighth overall pick idea, what you're doing is you're waiting and you're going for the long-term game again. This is the entire reason we made a video talking about the Buffalo Sabres trading that 8th overall pick for an asset that can be used today, an asset that can still be good a year from now, and an asset that'll help you in the long term while also helping you next year. The Sabres want to win now, and if Jack Eichel is a guy who is getting off the team, then you're going to have some problems winning now. Who knows, though? Maybe if the Sabres don't have an Eichel anymore, maybe that desire to win is lessened a little bit, especially with the whole new regime coming in. Who knows, that's just speculation from my part. And furthermore, if Jack Eichel is a guy who wants to win every year, why is it that he's going to the Sharks? Gosh darn it, man, this San Jose team was already pretty poor in the standings last year. They were third last out of every team, points percentage-wise. And now, you take a look at it, you get rid of a Timo Meyer, you replace him with a Jack Eichel. Okay, what does that do? Well, you get better a little bit, but is that enough to really push yourself forward into the long-term future? I'm not too sure. You still got Thornton. Assumably, maybe. I'm not too sure if you guys are going to get Thornton back. You still got Evander Kane. You've still got Burns and Carlson and good players, but just the way they played last year. Yikes. That wasn't a good year. Now, if you have faith that the San Jose Sharks could bounce back next year, or in two years, or in three years, and actually start to contend again, then be my guest. Say that Eichel is going to be a good fit on the Sharks, and that the Sharks would be a good fit for Eichel. Be my guest. But I have a tough time believing that the San Jose Sharks are going to be able to take that next step without a guy like Meyer, without a guy like Ryan Merkley coming up in the system, and, although it hurts to say, without a guy like Jonathan Dolan or that first round pick. Because those picks are going to be valuable, and we see what the San Jose Sharks can do with their development. Sure, you could say they kind of whiffed on Jeremy Waugh. I don't want to say that they've been perfect, but Timo Meyer has been great. Josh Norris, ever since going to the Ottawa Senators, he's been a really good prospect. Not to mention that Ryan Merkley has legitimately been overcoming some of those problems that he had in the past. It's just, I'm not too sure if you trust the San Jose Sharks as they are right now, without the prospects and without the young guys, to get better next year. That's just my concern. As for the Buffalo side of things, if you get Ryan Merkley and Ryan Merkley becomes the player he can be, then my goodness, Darlene Merkley could be one of the best pairings we've seen in the league in the past decade and a half. But that's only if Ryan Merkley becomes what Ryan Merkley can be. Add to that, in a few years you can have Dylan Cousins and Timo Meyer playing on a line together. Does that not sound like an immovable line? Add to that the guy that you draft at 8th overall, Let's say you take a really dynamic and flexible winger in Lucas Raymond, like we talked about in our mock draft, and all of a sudden, Meyer, Cousins, Raymond, that's an amazing first line, not to mention Middlestad and Reinhardt in your second line. In a few years, that sounds deadly. But the problem is, are you willing to wait a few more years? 
Eichel, he's noted how he doesn't want to do that, which is why we're even talking about trading him in the first place. So that kind of wraps up our video here. Talk in the comments below about this trade idea. What do you think about Meyer, Merkley, Dolan, a first for Jack Eichel, San Jose Buffalo? Talk to me in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Social Social 99. And bye.